struggling with complex identity management for your fast api apps what if i told you there's a key clock alternative that is easier to set up and integrate seamlessly with python today i will show you how to implement enterprise grade authentication using authentic with docker fast api and some few layers of code everyone i am flasha samuel Aimi, and by the end of this video you'll be able to understand why authentic is an alternative to kick log deploy authentic with docker compose configure or auth two flows in fast api implement implement both session and jwt auth avoid common security pitfalls why kick log is powerful authentic offers key advantages for python developers simpler kubernetes native architecture beautiful modern ui out of the box built-in mfa and passwordless flows rest rest first api design it's perfect for fast api or django apps needing production ready alt without complexity now you have the following requirement a host with at least two cpu cores and two gig of ram docker and docker compose stored on your machine Note that this installation method is for test setups and small scale production setups. Load the latest Docker Compose, open your terminal, and navigate to the directory of your choice. Run the following command as shown on the screen. This is a fresh, authentic installation. You need to generate password and a secret key. Use a secure password generator of your choice, such as pwgen or you can use OpenSSL as commands to generate a password and secret key and write them to your environment variable files Note that because of postgresql limitation only passwords up to 99 characters are supported so and it's also recommended to configure global email credentials these are used by authentic to notify you about alerts and configuration issues they can also be used by email stages to send verification or recovery emails. To configure email credentials, append this block to your environment variable file, as shown on the screen. By default, authentic listing internally on port 9000 for HTTP and 9443 for HTTPS. To change the exposed ports to 80, you can set the following variables in your.env file. I have the authentic Docker Compose file downloaded on my system. As downloading, make sure you use the Docker Compose command as shown on the screen to pull and build in demo mode. The Docker Compose file statically references the latest version available at the time of downloading the Compose file. Each time you upgrade to a newer version of authentic, you download a new Docker Compose file which point to the latest available version start the initial setup navigate to http your server ip or host name port 9000 for http if flow initial setup you will get to this page to set up your account as a new user i already have my account set up you will get not found error if initial setup url does not include the trailing forward slash my application created named fast api app to after registering you will need to create a new application so get an application which was named fast api app a slug called fast api art the provider to provider for fast api app you can see i already have an existing application as said but you can create a new application here input application display name then internal application name used in the url which is the slug input the application display name and input the slug then input the provider here for the provider you have to input the open id configuration url open id configuration issuer and authorized url likewise token url and user info url logout url and jwks url post 
you can see outposts are deployment of authentic components to support different environments and protocol like reverse proxy so authentic embedded output login in via local host 9000 and version last seen is nine seconds ago and see the integration method is local docker connection and type is proxy so for the provider application fast api app the type is oauth2 and open id provider after setting up you have to create your provider imputes your provider name i named this provider for fast api app and also the authorization flow which i set to default provider authorization explicit consent authorized application is used when authorizing this provider so cost settings i set the client type to confidential confidential clients are capable of maintaining the confidentiality of their credentials such as client secret and all client id and the client secret keep this safe in your environment variable and also the redirect url which is the auth callback url for the default port for fast api which is set to port 8000 also we select authentic self signed certificate as the signing key key used to sign the tokens populate our fast api environment variables you can put the client id and the client secret then the redirect url we created a secret key provides the provider's log that was created earlier our fast api code break down every critical section you will understand not just how it works but why it is designed this way type and this oidc complexity no manual jwt decoding social media where stores user data in encrypted cookies oauth2 authorization code bearer enables bearer token authentication this is a late session middleware because it is lightweight and automatically handles cookie signing or encryption critical for securing user data in this matter same it leaks prevents csrv why allowing navigation allow credential to true enables cookie based authentication never add code secret always use environment variables tip for you rotate your secret key quarterly and use https only set to true in production to prevent man in the middle attacks enter that url discover oidc endpoint automatically secret post more secure than default client secret basic scopes define user data access start minima why outlib rocks outlib automatically handles open id configuration discovery token endpoint communication jwt validation saving you hundreds of lines of code happen when user hits the login endpoint they, they get redirected to authentic authorization endpoint uh, get authenticated in authentic callback url authentic redirect to the auth callback url with code auth live exchanges code for tokens stores user claims in encrypted session cookies we will check both token user info and fetch separately because some providers don't include user info in the token response ensure compatibility across oidc implementations best for browser-based applications also best for mobile apps spa front-end service to service security contracts Se sessions use encrypted cookies http only why jwts are stateless tokens sessions protect against xss wts require careful token handling now let us test our code let's reset the public url which we displayed a message is a public endpoint and see our public url is working fine now let's log in you can see the user email name authentic default admin which means our code is working fine as some best practices before life always enable https set https only to true for cookies rotate secret quarterly enable authentic admin create mfa policies set up email verification configure password complexity rules here are some common issue and fixes if you run to an error 404 in setup check trailing slash in url or probably you run into a jwt failures error verify that provider's log matches and so use docker compose logs for container related issues
Hey, you've learned how Authentic simplifies auth versus key clock. Docker, Docker deployment best practices, fast API OAuth to integration patterns, production security admin. Grab the complete code in the description below. Like if you found this helpful. Subscribe for more Python tutorial content. Got questions? Drop in comments. I respond to everyone. Until next time, happy coding. Thanks for watching.